Today, communities around the world are celebrating the importance of social emotional learning, especially during the pandemic. Teachers are learning to respond to the needs of their students. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas reports. These pre K students at PS 73 in the Bronx start their day with a five minute meditation. This is one example of social emotional learning that focuses on mental health and overall wellness. When you do social emotional learning, you have less behavior issues. You're checking in not only with the children, but you're also checking in with the staff. You're checking in with parents. I feel proud. Mm -hmm. because all, almost all my students are here. Social emotional learning was already important at the school, but the pandemic made it even more of a priority. Friday, school's chancellor, Misha Ross Porter, got to experience firsthand how it's integrated into the curriculum as the Department of Education plans on adding more students in person starting next month. Folks have been disconnected socially, removed from schools, isolated, and so ensuring that we have mental health services and su supports in place is going to be critical. One out of every 10 people in the concourse hybrid section have been diagnosed with COVID, and at one point, the unemployment rate in the Bronx topped 20%. If we want to address learning loss, learning gap, and all of the language connected to that, we first have to address the hearts and minds of our young people and our educators that are coming back into buildings. That includes hiring 150 social workers and adding community schools to neighborhoods hardest hit by COVID, along with creating a summer school program that provides more support. We don't know what the fallout of this pandemic is going to be. We're, we're in it. School leaders are navigating yes. uncharted territory after an unimaginable year, establishing a healthy foundation to make up for lost time. In the High Bridge Concourse section of the Bronx, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. The principal says students learning remotely need more social emotional support than students who learn in the classroom, and those services are provided virtually.